Hello everybody, Jean here with another Mars Anomalies video. We're looking at a site I featured a couple of times in the recent past. It's near Chamberlain in a region of Mars called Ionia Terra. NASA's photographed this site several times and this is one of the other photographs I haven't featured yet. And it looks like the dune that they're tracking at the site has moved. The angle of the sun is also a little nicer in this photograph. So we get to see new anomalies and some of the older anomalies are featured in the past. Just with some other detail that aren't visible in the other photograph. So let's have a look at the source. Then I'll show you the anomalies up close. Then I'll take you to Mars and we'll see where the site is situated for context. This high-rise photograph we're analysing is called Dunes. It was acquired on the 14th of August 2011 at a resolution of 25.1 centimeters per pixel. The images I'll be showing you are cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file 622 megabytes in size. There's a look at that dune that they're tracking at the site and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these larger bright spots that are littered across this terrain. So we have Ionia Terra Via to the right, Chamberlain down there to the bottom right and the site we're analyzing is right there. The coordinates are roughly 63 degrees 3 minutes south, 131 degrees 43 minutes west. As always, I'm including a scale indicator so you can measure the size of these anomalies for yourself. So that there's 20, 10, so the one we're looking at right there is about 8 meters across. Check out the close up. Looks very metallic in nature. It's got this opening with these two protruding parts sticking up out of that opening and it's quite tall as well I'd say it's about two to three meters in height check out the length of that shadow that's being cast there folks then we'll have a look at the strange anomaly of here to the right that's 2010 so that part there is about nine meters across. Check at the odd shape to this piece. Hollowed out. Doesn't look like a typical rock or boulder that we find at this site. Does it got this rectangular smooth surface on the left hand side? Intriguing block next to it as well. Right, let's have a look at this item about 10 meters across. It's got a neat opening to it. Check that out folks. What the heck are we looking at here? What's inside there? Rather strange. Right, let's have a look at this piece. Also quite tall, about a meter and a half to two meters in height. And that piece is about 10 to 12 meters in length. And it's got an intriguing rectangular part in the center. Also relatively uniform in its thickness. Right, let's have a look at this. 2010 so that piece there I'd say is about five meters across it's got these two similar size and shape carved out areas or hollowed out areas and two smaller parts in the openings and in this odd piece I'd say that there is about 8 meters in length. 
It's got two sort of layers to it. Nice uniform opening. Right angles. And then this piece that spans across that opening and then goes across this larger rectangular part right there close to its center that just screams artificiality to me folks right let's have a look at the triangular item down there I'd say this is about six to eight meters in length and it's got neat geometry to this shape and there's some other parts like it that I'll show you as we go through this presentation and there's a similar triangular item check out the length of that shadow that's being cast I put this at around two meters about a meter and a half to two in height uniformity in its thickness it looks almost like a little obelisk right let's have a look at that to the right that piece is about five meters across it's got a neat rectangular shape to it rounded corners and it's lying on top of a circular disc like anomaly it's also very strange right check out this at this 20 I'd say this is about 18 meters across and the piece at the bottom to me looks like something similar to sheet metal very thin as well right let's check out the disc over there it's 2010 I'd say that there is about six meters in diameter and it's got the slot through the center right there's that piece I featured a while ago that I compare to a finger not that it's a finger but it looks like a finger with a nail on it very odd it's 2010 that piece is about 9 to 10 meters in length and then it's got this odd disc shaped part on the top it seems to be inside a hollowed out area in that larger piece right then the block at the bottom of this crop at there I would say is about four meters across neat right angles to it something odd going on inside that block it looks almost like a type of a container it's a rather odd piece of here like a disc tilted up this one I featured in the past as well I compare it to a monolith and I put it at about two meters tall check that out folks it's got uniformity in its thickness thin bright part right let's have a look at those two triangular items I'd say that's about six meters in length and they're similar in size and shape sort of mirrored or flipped what could that be 
It looks similar to that triangular part sticking up out of the surface. Right, then this piece. I'd say that's about 12 to 14 meters across. And close to its center we have that smaller object. And we see that phenomenon on Mars quite often, where we have the larger base, and then a small object or protrusion in the center or very close to the center, very similar to that type of thing we see at monoliths, at ancient ruins here on Earth. Right, check this piece out. This is in a very washed out area of the photograph. So that there I would put at about 20, 10, 6 meters in length. Uniformity in its thickness. Rectangular in shape as well. And zoom in on those objects. This block is about six meters in length. And then check out this rather strange piece. This doesn't look like anything else at the site. It appears to be very thin material as well. Who knows what that could be. Right, let's check out the oval disc shape over there. It's about 4 meters to 5 meters in length. Very smooth, flat surface. Odd object over there, about four meters in length, two layers. This one slightly elevated above this one, following the same sort of shape. This is also a rather odd piece, slightly hollowed out, perhaps. Right, let's have a look at this block at about 7 to 8 meters in length, uniform width and thickness, neat right angles, straight edges, and then this thinner rectangular part parallel on the top. Right, let's have a look at that hole. I'd say that's about three meters in diameter. And there's something odd to this. I mean, it appears to be inside that opening. Right, check out this block. It's about four meters in length, uniform in its thickness, right angles and straight edges. Right, let's take a look at that site. This is in Google Earth Mars. Just to give you some context, we have Chamberlain over here, circular depression named for Thomas C. American geologist. Right, the site we're looking at is over here, folks. As you can see, NASA's photographed this a number of times. So let's have a look at those anomalies I featured briefly. Look at these triangular parts.
and then from other photographs when the dune field was in a different position we've got this piece with the odd opening in it looks metallic as well like sheet metal partial hexagonal shape sticking up there This was from another photograph. Yeah, the sun was at a slightly different angle. You can see that monolith, I call it the monolith, has this sort of like elbow design to it. Very odd items. And this is when I upscaled it years ago using a Photo Zoom Pro 7. You can see the basic shape shadows, highlights are the same in the new upscaled images they're just a little crisper and sharper so yet again the question remains are we looking at something produced by nature some weird geological processes or are we seeing elements of intelligent design and manufacture until we go there and check these things out and investigate them up close and personal, we won't. No, we can only speculate for now. Let's have a chat in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think of these. As always, thanks for watching.